Hey everyone, I guess you won't be able to hear me too well because it's quite windy today but what I'm going to do is show you a very tricky and tricky way of installing a rectifier and voltage regulator and let me bring it up higher so you might notice it doesn't look like it belongs to this engine and that's fully true because it's from a normal motopad or ATV or a scooter and that's my plan because I did my measurements and it seems I'm lying I actually checked that before so that's for that ATV it's totally different color totally different connector all the different connectors so I want to check what size would work properly this seems a little bit too big so I've got the different size this seems to work perfectly that's good now what I'm going to do is to remove this little thing and fix it. You might think, why am I going to install a voltage regulator and rectifier from something that shouldn't be here? Yeah, but I will tell you what, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. And don't worry, it will have enough power and capacity inside to work properly. How do I know that? I just know that. So this we need to fix to make sure that we'll work the hole properly. I'm going to try to put something like that. Ah, but it's not cut. I don't have proper tool to do that. Don't worry. I've got something different as well. This might even work better. That would do the job. Now we need to squeeze it properly. Some little tiny tool. I got it from my friend. And we'll later squeeze it with something bigger. and use something that it's not really designed to do that. But that would work. Without any issues. When the engine is running, there is no pressure at all on it worried at all okay we are done with it this part what we need to do is this one two three and four I'll bring some tool such as this you don't need it at all yeah it doesn't matter and quickly to the cables. I will take it out later. 
Okay. I was pulling the cables like that with my teeth. I need to tell you that I destroyed my teeth by doing that. That's why I invested in a tool, which maybe is ten dollars. And it does the job. I already see that the quality of the cables is not that great, but I'm not worried at all. I only need maybe 10 watts from it, no more. So, because I read the instruction before I ordered it, by the way, I paid maybe six dollars for it, not the normal price for the dedicated one. So I'm not really worried, as you can tell my attitude to stuff like that where I know it will work so why should I pay thousands or hundreds when I'm not a rich person and I already know that the red and green is the positive negative and these two cables are going to the coil which means we will be putting them here yep so I will check what colors I got so, I've done all the cables, so I think it should be pretty straightforward, positive, negative, and the coils. Yep, so I can put it back, but I need to get this thing out. I got it out. Yep, so we can go again. This, the screw. We might actually do it like that, but the cables would knock here a little bit. Protection and engine would do it like that. It would do. Cable the cables up. I will check other positions. Maybe there is a better position, maybe like that. Even better, because if there is a water drop, something, it will not go straight to the cables. It will probably leak here and drop it will be on that angle even here but chance of getting inside is a little bit lower even if I leave it like that and I'm not really worried if it stops working then I will fix it by buying a new one of course measuring it first double checking if I did something wrong I might put the second screw here, but if you are careful, put it here. I might, because I know it's not shaking at all here, while it's in water. It's shaking left and right like that. Okay, I can tighten it a little bit. I need it. I'm holding the cable under this little thing. I'm putting my finger here when I'm tightening the screw because I don't want it to go down and keep pushing on it. So I want it perfectly straight. Maybe not perfectly, but just don't want to destroy it. I'm not pushing any any pressure on it, just tighten it. A tiny space here, which is perfect, as you can see. So they are not touching each other, it's good. That's the ignition. And I think that's all what I wanted to show you guys. Now I can plug them back to make it a little bit better. I can do yellow with yellow. It should work. Yay! We are in. However it sounds. Black. In. Great. I have got some cable. I will show you. Yep. I have got some fuse that I want to put close to the battery and the junction box and some cable. I'm going to put that cable through the whole box. Boat. Sorry. Just put the little plastic to protect my fish finder cable. Yeah, that's 
what you do when you're as lazy as I am to protect yourself in the future then it means if I put the hook over it I will just destroy the cover not the cable or it will just go over it instead of destroying the transconder I think that's all and we can do a tiny test to prove it that it works I will hook something up maybe even this cable I will do the connectors we can connect something and I will put the earmuffs and we can give it a go and try just to start with I just plugged positive negative it's just to DC 20 volts not sure if the you would capture it on the camera so even when I crank the engine you should already see some results so I will try see okay unfortunately it started raining again the black clouds are coming so I might hide for a wee while so I need to hide my tools and then we'll carry on installing it so I can show you how I put it around oh. lock the tripod and this is how I did that I just locked it here so if there is a water something that would still go out and it's just here out of the gearbox shift so it will not rub it I also fixed a few other things cable here is tight, all of it is tight doesn't matter really even if water leaks and that's all this should work now I'm going to attach the cable put it through the hole here and it will go together with the gearbox shifter I will tie, to, tie them together and that's all job done and I can connect my fish finder and I can finally go fishing today but I'll show you the weather doesn't seem good at all not nice Back. It's working. As you see, the whole thing was just to prove it that you can do it. Not a super nice looking thing, but who is looking at the engine? Unless you're a fan of engines, like me, I love engines and stuff like that. I enjoy it, so I really don't mind doing workarounds like that, especially that you need money. Of course, bo both requires money, but if you think and clever, you can do a lot of things uh, extremely cheap. So you can actually enjoy fishing, not spending money. And that's my goal. So if it stops raining, then you might get a little bit of fishing as well. I will see. Thank you for now. And now I'll just put the wire up to the front of the boat, connected to one of the linkages. Not extremely connected. Maybe I'll use cable ties, cable ties, or just some tape, waterproof tape. 
I'm not sure. I will see how I go. See you guys.